Hi, I'm going to show you how to hold the violin properly. Uh, when you hold the violin, uh, remember that uh, the violin will always be pointed um, slightly to your left. Uh, and when you're standing, there will be a little more weight on, the left, on your left foot. Uh, it will also be uh, maybe an inch or two pointed a little more. Your left foot will be a little more pointed to the left. So, um, so that uh, you have some good support under the violin. Um, however, although the violin is pointed left, uh, make sure that uh, it's not placed on your shoulder. I know uh, some, some people, uh, probably good violinists um, uh, in their own right as well, um, say that uh, you should hold it on your shoulder, but uh, I think that's more a, a misconception or maybe a misuse of terminology. Uh, because if you place it on the shoulder, you know, it would be here, right? And no other activity, as far as I know, um, is done, you know, completely on the sides. Uh, you know, you don't chop vegetables, you don't write letters, you don't type on the sides, you don't play piano on the sides. You, know, you do everything within uh, kind of your embrace. I mean, this is where the motor skills are the finest, this is where concentration is the best. So, although the violin is pointed to the left, um, see as you can see, it's, it is rather left. Um, uh, it is still within my embrace, so it is not completely on the shoulders, it is not completely stretched out uh, like 90 degrees from the camera um, to my left. Um, rather, it is within my embrace. Um, and the proper place to place it is the left collarbone. Uh, some, depending on the build, some people say uh, between the, the shoulder and the trap muscles and the collarbone. Um, for me, I, I just place it on the collarbone here, like this. Right, so it's within my embrace, but still to the left. Right. And then I bring my head down and just give enough uh, pressure to help hold down the violin. And uh, once I do that, my head, um, as you advance, I mean, you can, you know, you can turn your head um, this way or that way, be more expressive. And the, but the most healthy and the most um, technically sound way to um, place your head is to, uh, when you place your head, is to be able to look down this flat fingerboard and see the end of the strings. See? So I'm able to look down all the strings and just look straight at the camera. Right, so that's how you hold the violin. Um, you can always balance uh, holding the violin uh, with your left hand, right? So you're giving a little weight from your um, uh, with your jaw, with your chin, but uh, you also hold up with your uh, left hand. Um, one easy way to hold it, especially in the beginning, uh, is to wrap your hand around the body, thumb on the other hand to counterbalance, um, or to just slip up the hand, thumb, and the rest of the hand on the other, on either side of the neck, right, like this. It's also a very natural way to hold the violin. Um, of course, you can, um, I will go over this later, but you can also um, hold the violin this way uh, with your hand in natural first position. Uh, eventually, you will be able to uh, hold the violin uh, more comfortably with only your um, your chin. Um, you should practice it a little bit. Try to be able to hold the violin a little bit uh, with just your chin. Also, um, later on you will find it uh, you'll be able to play violin easily without your neck as well. I mean, you'll be able to play and go up and down the instrument. Um, and so it eventually becomes a game of balance. Uh, but for now, just uh, focus on becoming stable uh, more in. Uh, holding the violin with your, with your uh, chin, with your jaw, and also um, uh, be become comfortable holding it with your left hand as well.